you have lots of different nerve fibers and their sensitivity to local anesthetics depends on two important factors, and that is the size and the myelination status of those nerve fibers. So here we have all of our A fibers, B and C fibers drawn in order of descending diameter. The A fibers being the largest, about 20 micrometers in size, whereas the C fibers are very tiny and uh, around one micrometer or sometimes even less than this. Notice that there's not really any tricks to how these are named. An A alpha fiber is bigger than an A delta fiber in general, and then the B fibers and C fibers are smaller than all of the A fibers. It should make sense that a large nerve fiber like this is more difficult to penetrate. So in general, larger nerve fibers are less sensitive, or we could say that sensitivity increases with smaller nerve fibers. Then what seems to be even more significant is the myelination. So um, much more sensitive with myelinated neurons, which means that the C fibers, even though they're the smallest by far, they're unmyelinated. And because of this, they tend to not actually be all that sensitive to local anesthetics. Now the sensitivity of any of these nerve fibers does vary depending on what source you look at, but in general the C fibers are relatively resistant to local anesthetics, as are the A alpha fibers being the largest, so they can get one or two for sensitivity here. This sort of correlates with what we see clinically because motor tends to be one of the later things that we lose with uh, a nerve block. The A beta fibers for proprioception are pretty much the same size as your A alpha fibers, so similar sensitivity there. And your A gamma and A delta fibers are even smaller, so they have increasing sensitivity to the local anesthetic. Because some of these B fibers are still unmyelinated, you'll have sort of mixed sensitivity, so overall this class of nerve fibers is sort of intermediate sensitivity, but definitely more sensitive than the C fibers, uh, where none of them are myelinated. I'll just draw your attention to the A delta fibers and the C fibers because these are principally our nociception nerve fibers. The A delta fibers are your sensory afferents for pain, touch, temperature, and this pain tends to be localized or fast transmitted pain. Because these are myelinated nerve fibers, they're able to have much faster nerve conduction with the saltatory conduction. Therefore, um, it's these nerve fibers that are able to give you information about directly where sensation is coming from and tends to be that sort of sharp pain. Whereas your C fibers, these unmyelinated and therefore slow nerve fibers uh, tend to carry this dull and slow pain information. Despite the theoretical or direct sensitivity of all these nerve fibers to the local anesthetic, the clinical effects tend to be a little bit different than what we say for the sensitivity of these, unfortunately. But very important to know that in general, your sympathetics are the most sensitive. So you'll see blockade of this before pain and temperature, which is more than your motor block. And lastly, you'll lose the sense of touch. The order of this clinical effect is probably multifactorial. Just think about how different nerves may be bundled together within the fascicles or the relative amount of neurons that are sending or receiving information from any of these domains. Of course, there's also overlap with the level of blockade for any of these. So you can get a little bit of motor loss while you still have pain and temperature, but the general principle of sympathetics being the first to be affected and light touch being the last to be fully blocked uh, does hold true.